Hey everybody, this is Garrett Zafudo, the SEO Director for Junk Removal Authority, and I'm here to talk to you about a couple updates that can affect your SEO. The first one that I'd like to talk about is the Google Helpful Content Update. So this one was completed back in September of 2022, and it might have introduced a little bit of volatility to your organic search positions. The point of the Helpful Content Update is to focus on more informative information and less content that's designed to rank well organically. So we have a few major questions that we have to ask ourselves. Does our content answer a question? Does our content provide an answer for the reader? Will anyone even read it? Of course, not every number one website passes this test, so it's extremely likely Google will roll this back or apply a future update that fixes this temporary volatility. The reason why the helpful content update matters is because Google wants to focus more on basically informative content, content that is helpful for the, for the reader. Are you answering a question? Are you, uh, you know, telling the user where you're located, what kind of services you do, what the process looks like? If you find yourself writing content that's a little bit too much like it's trying to rank well with Google, then you might find yourself on the back foot because Google really wants content that answers a question. What Google's really trying to do is they're trying to target uh, you know, webmasters and websites that are essentially trying to game the system and are trying to uh, construct their content in a way that is designed to rank well with Google, but not necessarily designed to help the user once they actually make it to the website. If you look up a, a, a recipe on Google, you get their whole life story before you ever get to see the recipe. The reason why a lot of people do that is because they think Google wants to see that type of content. And so the helpful content update uh, is kind of attacking that type of content, content that's designed only to rank on Google, but not necessarily to answer a question for the user. You can believe that it's changing the way that we're thinking about our content as well. We're focusing more on content that answers these questions for the user you know, such as where are you located? What sorts of services do you do? How, what does the process look like? Who can you expect to show up to your door when you hire this company for junk removal? You know, getting more to the basics and less towards the, the extra fluff that's designed to rank with Google, we're definitely looking forward to some increased uh, rank, organic rankings in the future. Not every number one website is actually following all of these rules to a T, which does indicate that Google is still in the process of figuring things out. We see some really uh, you know, to be completely frank, we see some really crappy websites out there, some really bad websites that are ranking well on Google, but are still breaking a lot of these core rules in terms of the type of content that they're offering, which does indicate that Google is probably either going to roll some of these changes back or apply future updates that will continue to refine their helpful content update and really reward the best websites that are out there. So if you have a website and you're not using JRA's SEO services, you do want to think about a couple of things regarding the content that's on your website. One really good thing is to just look at the content on your website and ask yourself, is it doing any of the things that Google wants me to do? Is it answering these uh, you know, very specific questions that users are asking when they're coming to your website? Uh, is it answering questions such as the types of things you take, you know, what your service looks like, who you are and things like that. And if you find that your content is doing that and you don't have a lot of extra fluff, you don't have a lot of uh, you know, extra long paragraphs that kind of aren't really doing anything in terms of uh, informing the user, then you might be in a good place. The second update that I wanna talk about is the link spam update. Now the link spam update was released in December of 2022, right around Christmas time. So the link spam update, similar to the Google Core update or the helpful content update, uh, is really an attempt by Google to get rid of the bad actors in its organic rankings. So the importance of links that come back to your website, otherwise known as backlinks, is that it tells Google how important your website is. Google looks at every single single website that has a link that comes back to you, such as your Yelp profile, your Google My Business, Thumbtack, and so on. Google counts up all these links in order to determine how important of a website you are. Think of every single backlink as a vote. The more votes you have from quality sources, the more important Google's going to think your website is. Now, there are a lot of bad actors out there on the internet who are basically trying to collect as many links as possible from a lot of disreputable websites, spammy websites. So this link spam update is targeted at those specific websites. So if you ever see an SEO company that's promised you, you know, 1,500 backlinks in a month or, you know, thousands of backlinks over a short period of time, probably what they're doing this exact technique that Google is trying to de-emphasize with this link spam update. So the kind of links that Google wants to see are things that are actually representative of your business in the real world. You want to think about the things you're doing as well as the professional relationships you have. You know, think about getting on your Chamber of Commerce. Think about getting on the Better Business Bureau as well as some of those other links I mentioned such as Yelp, uh, your Google My Business, getting on Thumbtack. Those are the types of links that Google wants to see because they actually provide information for the average user that people would actually want to read. So if your organic ranking has remained steady over the past few weeks, that's a good indicator that your backlinking strategy is on the right track. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed these tidbits on the latest Google updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.